Okay, good morning boys, hope you guys are doing alright. Um, today we're going to be talking about internal forces. Okay? Can I get any ideas where you've heard of internal forces before? Uh, Harley? Um, our forces across the bridge. Across the bridge, okay. In the bridges, where else have we seen internal forces? Tension and compression. Tem bridges. Tension and compression, yeah? Okay, excellent. Um, what we're going to go through today is learning about constructing a bridge. Um, we're going to go through the engineering cycle. So you're going, to go, you're going to have the opportunity to design your own bridge, test it through simulation, and then build your actual bridge. And then once we've finished all of that, we can redesign it. All right, so here we have an example of a bridge. Um, obviously, what's so different about this bridge? There it is. Abdullah? Uh, it doesn't have the, like, uh, it doesn't have the sides okay. for the time. Okay. Uh, like uh, like these uh, modern roofs, uh, they have uh, they have two sides and uh, then one one on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. So they have uh, two forces mm -hmm. that supports uh, the bridge. The bridge, excellent. And what type of materials are used in this bridge here? Uh, they are made out of uh, branches of trees and the roots. Okay. Branches of trees and roots, excellent. So we'll just play this video really quick. When we think of bridges, complex structures employing materials like steel and concrete comes to mind. Northeastern India, however, is home to unique, living bridges, which amazingly are built using trees. Bridge growers plan at least 10 years in advance to create footbridges derived from the roots of trees. Batel nut trees are harvested, the roots of which prove to be strong and functional, allowing up to 50 people to walk across the natural, living bridges at one time. The live branches and roots are weaved together and they can remain operational for up to 500 years. Some of these bridges stretch 100 feet long and they allow people to easily cross over bodies of water. The bridges do very well in the area, as the tree roots grow even stronger due to the dampness in the region. While the woven branches can sometimes leave gaps, villagers fill those holes with strong stones. How do you like the idea of a living bridge? Okay, so that's quite an interesting video. Uh, they mentioned something in that, uh, in that little clip. What is the purpose? Why did people build bridges? Or why did the idea of building a bridge come from? Uh, Abdul Rahman. Um, getting, from, uh, getting from point A to point B uh, in a quicker manner. In a quicker manner, okay. Is, was it always possible to go from a, point A to point B? Not always. Not always. Can you give me an example of when it's not always possible? Uh, maybe there's a, a, a little bit of Apart. Okay, good. And um, they, they have to build uh, a bridge that can go across, uh, across this silver uh, pass and the people go forward. Excellent. Well done. So sometimes two bodies of land are separated by a river, and the river might be fast flowing, right? If it's a shallow river, it's not too much of an issue. But if it's a really deep river, things like horses, cars, people, they're not able to cross. Okay, so that's the whole purpose of uh, building a bridge in the first place. Well done. Okay, so this is what we're going to be going through today, okay? Engineering, engineering design cycle. Can anyone tell me what they understand about the engineering design cycle? I left to choose Abdullah. First, uh, first you need to make a prototype. Then you need to uh, test the prototype. Uh, then uh, you need to evaluate the test. Okay, so you evaluate what you made. And once you evaluate it, what should you do after? Uh, I might revise the steps. Uh -huh. Excellent, revise the steps. And then? Uh, then I do it all again. Exactly. So once you revise what you've learned from your, from your, when you collect data, when you analyze it, you can understand when, what went good, what went bad. Okay? And from this, we can understand how to improve our prototype. So the engineering cycle, does it stop? No. It's always continuing until you get to a final product, right? Yeah. Now we're going to work in groups of threes. And in your worksheet, I want you to split the paper down into half, okay? The first half, we're gonna write um, first design. Once we've done our simulation, once we've built our own, uh, tested some of the materials of an, on a bridge, we're gonna redesign it, okay? So first section is going to be uh, a first design. The second one is gonna be the redesign, okay? In your first design, in your groups of threes, I want you to think of a bridge how you would design this bridge um, 
to get from point A to point B, like Abdullah said, okay? So imagine there's a body of water underneath. We want to go from one land to another land. In your groups of threes, you decide how this bridge will look like, okay? And please, can you list some materials on the bottom as well? What you think, what materials would be good to build this bridge? Okay, any question, boys? Okay, excellent. One. Hello uh, boys, so what have you guys done so far in your bridge design? Um, we have not, uh, uh, we have not squares and then, uh, some like uh, metal not supported. Supported, okay excellent. And uh, what sort of materials are you going to use for your design? It's actually concrete and uh, it can also, it's also very durable. Mm -hmm. We're thinking we should be at some type of metal. Okay. What metal do you think? Okay, still. But this diagonal, diagonal spot with uh, beams. Yep. This is what the bridge is going to be given. Excellent. Well done. And on the bottom, can you just list the mature? So you said concrete, you said steel, and maybe if you think of any other things, that's fine as well. Yeah? Uh, what's the type of metal that's not going to rust? Going to rust. So in your kitchen, what do you have in your kitchen a lot? Uh, stainless steel, right? Yeah. Stainless steel is going to rust. Maybe alloys. Yeah, alloys as well. Excellent. So these are good ideas. Why this down? One of those. Okay. So what can you tell me about your bridge? In our first design. All we did that uh, this truck needs to go from point A to point B. Okay. So. Uh, and what's this here? This is the river. River. Okay. Yeah. So now Abdullah. So uh, we designed uh, a bridge with a truss, mm -hmm. uh, so that has uh, two forces that support the bridge. One's uh, tension and one's compression. Mm -hmm. uh, we attach the truss from uh, with with the mountain with okay. the side of the mountain and the uh, and with the with the bridge. Okay, so I can see you've got some trusses going from here, to yeah. from the bridge itself, down to the cliff, right? Yeah, the cliff. Okay, excellent. And uh, what sort of materials are you going to use? Uh, the material uh, we use for the bridge is uh, steel and uh, concrete. Why did you choose these two materials? Uh, steel is a uh, strong material. It may hold the bridge and the things that are going uh, to pass uh, above it. Okay. Plus concrete to uh, hold it in, in, the, uh, in the mountain itself, in the cliff. Okay. So it can hold the steel and the other uh, things. Okay, excellent, well done. So this is a really good first design. Okay, so this is your first design. Yes. It looks very good. Uh, can you talk about the, your design first of all? So why did you build this bridge? Uh, we, built the, uh, we built this bridge because uh, we wanted to, uh, to move people from point A to point B uh, easier or uh, to just make it possible. Mm -hmm. Because uh, in, in, some, in certain places, there is a river separating two, uh, two, uh, two, uh, two uh, Two counties or two uh, cities or lands. Yeah. Yes, and uh, and this also could be a ditch, which is like impossible to go to go. Sure. To go to right. Cross. Right. So building a bridge is the easiest way to get people uh, from from these two two points. Excellent. Well done. And uh, what so your design? So safe. Can you tell me something about your design? Oh, so we designed this uh, with this bridge with trusses, so we can uh, balance out the forces that are going to walk through the. Uh, bread mm -hmm. so we try to make every truss has an equal force uh, so we can basically make it balanced so can you show me some of the trusses that you made uh, which is this one uh -huh. this one this Where and else? this and this and this okay excellent well done and Abdurrahman, uh, Abdulaziz what sort of materials are you going to use uh, we use the iron and the steel because we think that uh, it's strong enough to hold the bread okay and also the asphalt for the road the road excellent yes. well done uh, boys, really happy with this design. What we're going to do now, we're going to go into our computer, use the online software, and simulate this bridge. So the way you've built this bridge, I want you to build it exactly how you've done it on the simulation, and test it. So you see you've got this car here. Uh, put the car through, and if the bridge holds, that means you got, your design is excellent. If it collapses, what are you going to do? Redesign it. Redesign it, okay? So think of where um, you could put maybe more trusses or do, using different materials, and see if that helps. Um, Support the, word, support the load that the truck has, yeah? Excellent work, boys, well done. Thank you. Uh, excellent work, boys. So I've walked around and I can see many of you guys have come up with your first design. I've seen some interesting designs, um, people talking about trusses, um, the different types of material used, and Abdurrahman on the back, he gave the reason why they're still building the bridge, which is excellent, to get from point A to point B. 
uh, to clear ditches and to clear rivers and so on and so forth. Excellent. So what we're going to do now, you've done your design. Uh, if we go back to the prototype, now we're going to uh, test it, okay? So in the engineering cycle, we've done our prototype, which so is to design it. Then we're going to test it. The software that we're going to use to test the design is Bridge Designer 2016, okay? This is a very powerful software. In this software, I'm going to give you guys three constraints, okay? Um, you're obviously going to work in your groups of threes. The first thing is deck elevation. Why is it important that we think about deck elevation? If you want to start on the top of the cliff or if you want to dig more lower and lower and lower. What happens with choosing a deck elevation? Uh, Abdullah. As it gets lower, it will uh, need more money. Okay. Excellent. So as we go lower and lower, um, the sides of the mountains, what are we doing to the sides of the cliffs? Uh, we are moving it. Exactly. So are digging it, the, uh, more, money. More, more money and more, more materials and time as well, right? Remember, in engineering, in real life, time is money, right? The longer you take to do something, the more, time it will, uh, the more money it will cost. Excellent. Well done. Uh, so that's the first um, constraint. I'm going to let you choose what deck elevation you want to use. The second thing is material. Why is it important to choose the correct material for the jobs, especially when building a bridge? Any ideas? Uh, Fahad? Um, because uh, specs, uh, the cars and the uh, durability of the Excellent. The durability and the cost as well. Now, as an engineer, can I always use the most strongest, the most expensive materials? Uh, no. Why not? The, yeah. So do I have an unlimited budget? No, okay, excellent. So every single um, engineering project has a budget. So the budget for your projects is going to be $400,000. Okay, so you've got three constraints, deck height, the materials, and the budget of $400,000. What I want you guys to do now, go look at your designs, try to replicate your designs in the software, and test it, okay? Because this is the purpose of this um, uh, simulation is to test your uh, design and see if you can withhold the load of the truck. Any question, boys? All right, excellent, let's get going. Okay, so let's start with Hamad. So Hamad, can you explain to me your bridge, please? So typically, we have a smooth center, which I try to balance it out. We set up by cutting joints and connecting. Excellent. When we run it, it says that Squares are not, uh, we have too many squares. Excellent. So how are you going to improve on this design? Uh, we're going to add more trusses and try to make the costume. Okay, excellent. Well done. So let's move on to uh, Khalid's uh, demonstration, uh, Khalid's bridge. So Khalid, can you explain to me your design, please? Uh, my design, I added some trusses, like an even, an even uh, pattern. Okay. So it could be a little bit more cheaper than the other design. And mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I think it will hold itself. Uh, I think it will hold itself more. Okay, so let's test your design and see if it works. So here we can see the truck going across the bridge. Great. So your so your truck went across the bridge. And what was the final cost? Uh, two hundred. Uh, uh, two hundred thousand. Two hundred. So 282,000. So you're like almost 100,000 below the budget. That's really good. Well done. Excellent design. Um, cool. Okay, so Abdulaziz, can you just go through your design again? Yes, as you can see, here's our initial design. Uh, we use the trusses to support the bridge. Mm -hmm. And here we use the program to simulate the bridge. So you built the exact same bridge on the software. Yes. And when you try to run the software, what happens? It shows that uh, the bridge isn't uh, stable. Okay. So what does it say exactly? What shape is it showing there? The structural model is unstable. Unstable. Yeah. So safe. Why is it unstable? Uh, as you can see, in the, pro uh, the program is highlighting the square shape mm -hmm. because we have the, like two squares and we need more triangles and crosses to help out uh, with the uh, forces being balanced. Being balanced. Excellent. So you need to add more trusses into your bridges, and this will help distribute the load and make the balance uh, forces. Yeah. 
Well done, boys. So in your redesign, so when you do your final design, what are you going to add more? Trusses. Trusses. So what I want you boys to do now, draw the same layout, but with your new design. And with the new design, once you've drawn your new design, try it in the software and see if that works then, okay? okay. Excellent work, boys. Well done. Okay. All right, boys. So how did your design go? So can you just, again, explain to me what you've done here and how you put it into the simulation? We tried making the design in the simulation, mm -hmm. but uh, we couldn't because uh, uh, the process uh, weren't, weren't uh, like uh, a tri full triangle. Like, okay. Like you can see here. Mm -hmm. It's a triangle, but... Uh, it's in the triangle shape, but yeah. it's not an actual triangle because you have four sides, right? Yes. Okay, so if you try to press play... It's, uh, it's unstable. Yeah, you have too many four-sided shapes. So, Abdullah, how are you going to improve on this design? So, we are going to improve it by making the design uh, uh, having more triangles. Triangles, so, uh, okay. Make the force equal on each side. Okay. And it can uh, be stable. Mm -hmm. And also, we will make, uh, like, uh, on top of the bridge, okay. we make, like, uh, a ramp mm -hmm. by uh, the materials. And it will uh, make, the fo uh, make the bridge uh, better and more stable. Mm -hmm. And it won't be like four uh, beams in one uh, truss. Mm -hmm. And it will be in, like equal. So equal. It can be and how much does your bridge cost right now, Tudor? What's the cost of your bridge? It's uh, uh, 460,000. What was your budget? Uh, 400,000. 400,000. So this is another issue, right? Yeah. Uh, this design. First of all, it doesn't support the bridge, and secondly, it's too costly. Yeah, so what I want you to do, do the same uh, layout here on this paper, but with the re new redesign. Once you've redesigned it here, with adding more trusses, like you said, um, try to minimize the cost. Then you could test it on the simulation and see if it works then, okay? Uh, well done, boys. Even though it didn't work, remember, in engineering, failure is not a, it's not a problem, okay? It's something that we can learn from. The whole idea of these um, designs so that we can learn from these mistakes and improve in our next design, sir. Yeah? All right, excellent work, boys. Well done. Okay, so Janahi, can you explain to me what you've done for your redesign, please? Uh, so, uh, first step, we changed the materials because of the cost. It was 406,000. Okay. And you wanted uh, 400,000 or less. Sure. So, uh, we changed the material from uh, steel and concrete to uh -huh. carbon steel and uh, quantity steel. Quantity steel, good. Uh, and then, after that, we changed the design. Uh -huh. the so uh, the trusses, as you see here, it wasn't like uh, stable. Mm -hmm. uh, but here it was, it was uh, the design at the top of the bridge. Mm -hmm. And also uh, there's one beam here uh, under the bridge for the trusses. OK, excellent. So, so you went from having one big truss to yeah. many little trusses. Yeah. Well done. And uh, can, so you've done that onto the simulation. So yeah. Abdullah, can you explain to me about the simulation? Uh, so in the simulation, uh, as you are seeing, yep. we have changed the, uh, the size of the bridge and also the place that it's being built. Okay, good. So in this, uh, the first design, it was in the top of the mountain. Sure. As it cost less, but uh, it needs more materials. Excellent. And here, uh, it costs also more, but it's lesser than uh, the, the, this design. So that's a really good point. So you're saying that when you went on the, when you're on the top of the bridge, on the top of the mountain, sorry, you require less um, cost for uh, excavation, for digging out. Yes. But you needed more cost for the materials. Yes. So you find that by digging down, you had more money to excavate, but then materials wise? It was less. It was yeah. less, excellent. And you can see, we can see that on the simulation, the truck is crossing the bridge uh, very nicely. So well done, boys. So you've done your first design, um, which wasn't successful, but by using the simulation, you moved on to the second design. And you tested it, and you can see that it works. Well done, boys. Perfect. Excellent. OK, so Khalid, can you explain to me your redesign? So this was your first design, sir? Yeah. This is your second design. What did you do to improve on it? Um, I made the, I made the, the place a little bit shorter. Mm -hmm. I made the bridge in a shorter position. OK. And uh, in, in a shorter distance, so it can, so it can be more like, it has, it has a more force to hold, to hold it up together. OK. And uh, I made the metal a little bit more thin, mm -hmm. so it can uh, make it cost cheaper. Okay. And uh, I added uh, and I added some more uh, uh, trusses to, to help the to help the bridge stand up. Excellent. And um, what, uh, can we see the simulation? Let's see the simulation if it works. Uh, 
Okay, well done. So we can see that by you doing your redesign, that the um, lorry can cross the bridge without breaking down. And what was the final cost? Uh, 220,000. 220,000, well done. So you're, what, 180,000 below the budget, which as an engineer is an excellent thing to do because the lower we are from the budget means, you know, we have more budget for our next uh, project. Okay, well done, boys. Excellent work. Okay, well, excellent work, boys. Um, I can see most of you, if not everyone, has finished the simulation. Um, you did your first design, and I think most of the groups were not successful. And then you did your redesign for learning from your mistakes. So can anyone raise their hand up and just explain to me some of the mistakes that you learned from your first design and how you improved them? Okay, Khalid? Uh, the first mistake was that uh, we, added, uh, we added a lot of uh, uh, designs that we didn't even need in the board, mm -hmm. and uh, they made it more expensive. Made it more expensive, okay. Um, what other things did we learn, boys? Okay, Abdullah? Uh, one mistake we did also the uh, materials, uh, which was materials uh, which uh, was like, uh, high expensive. Mm -hmm. And also the design of the truss, it wasn't, it wasn't like a triangle. Okay. It was uh, not truss. It was more like a, your one had four sides, right? Made in a yeah. quadrilateral. It had the similar shape to a triangle, but always in a triangle, right? Yeah, it wasn't. So how did you redesign your bridge? Uh, so we, we redesigned our bridge by improving the design. Uh, so we made it a truss, okay. a triangle, right. which has compression tension. And also we changed the materials to uh, carbon steel and uh, quench the steel. Quench tool. And how did that, what was your final result? So the exclusive uh, defeat from uh, first 160,000 okay. to 200. Good. So it's uh, below the 500,000. Excellent. So you were below budget. Very good. Yeah, below the budget. And uh, also the, we redesigned the truss. Okay, good. And was you, were you successful to move the load across the bridge? Yeah. Excellent. Well done. So we can see that by redesigning, by doing our first initial design, we learn from our mistakes. And from the mistakes, we improve them using the simulation. And this helped us make a second design, which you know, we were successful with. Excellent. OK, so what we're going to move on to now uh, is actually building and measuring uh, the forces, the internal forces within the bridge. Here we have an example of a truss that many of you guys use when you design. Um, we have the worksheet. What I want you guys to do is go through the worksheet, build this yourself, and then measure the tension and compression in different parts of the truss. Okay? So you're going to connect to SparkView, collect the data, and then we're going to go through the data later on, inshallah. Yeah? All right, any question, boys? All right, let's get going. All right, so boys, can you explain to me what you've done in your experiment? Uh, so first we put the uh, truss, okay, uh, and then we put the lotsil, uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, lotsil, yeah, uh, and now we will tear it first, and then put the load in the middle, okay, and we will measure the force. Okay, excellent. So let's tear it. All right. Okay. okay. So that's been teared. Yeah, and now we should uh, the force. Okay, so let's stop that and discuss. So we've got negative 1.91. What's that showing us? So now it's showing us that it's tension. And this is How do you know it's tension? Because it's negative. And negative. It's pulling away uh, force. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, uh, here's the compression. Okay. And here's the tension. Mm -hmm. and it's equally uh, being, being uh, distributed. Distributed. Very good. So now in, in this spot, uh, just tension. Yeah, so this bar here, right? Yes. Is getting tension. Well done. So what I want you guys to do now is move the load out here and then confirm if it's going to be tension or compression. If it's compression, what should the value of the force be? Must be positive. Positive. Excellent. Work. Well done, boys. So, and um, when we looked on our simulation, right, which colors were representing um, compression? Compression. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so remember on the thing here, compression was blue and tension was red. Okay, so from the simulation, we can understand where we're going to find compression, where we're going to find tension in your design. Okay, what well up, boys? Excellent work. Um, okay, boys, excellent work. Um, we finished with the lesson. Just to conclude, 
Can someone explain to me what did what process do we learn about today? Uh, Abdullah. Today we learned about the Indian design cycle. Okay. As first we made the prototype mm -hmm. and then we tested. So let's go through this is a safe example at the back. And can you just explain to me what he did? So what was his first design? Uh, so first he designed the approach that he was, wants to try it. Okay. And then he tested uh, it in a simulator. Good. And he evaluated as it shows the results. Good. Let's go to safe. Well done. Very nice explanation. So let's go to safe. Now safe. In your first design, when you put it into the simulation, what happened? Uh, didn't work. Okay. That it was unstable and it was sort of highlighted to us that the squares are on the uh, okay, there's too many squares and not enough trusses. So when you did your redesign, what happened? What did you change in your redesign? Uh, we added more trusses and uh, some more uh, lines just to keep it straight. Just to keep it straight. And what about the materials? Uh, materials we switched it to carbon steel. Carbon steel. Uh, for the cost, I think it was around two hundred thousand or one hundred twenty-nine thousand. Oh wow. We uh, actually uh, switched the place to a lower place so it can. Uh, so basically it can uh, move. Okay, so you reduce the elevation deck to a lower deck so that they might have cost more initially but you use less materials, right? Excellent work, boys. So as you can see, we've done the engineering design cycle. We designed our prototype. We tested it in the simulation. Once we tested it in the simulation, we evaluated our results. Okay, once we evaluated our results, we then revised them. Okay, once we revised them, we then went on to the bridge, uh, building a bridge. So can anyone tell me what you learned about building that bridge? About the internal forces? Um, can we get Khalid? There were two forces acting on the bridge, which are uh, tension and compression. Okay. And w what's tension? Is it negative or positive? Uh, it's negative. Negative and compression is? Positive. Positive. And when we looked at our simulation, what color was compression and what color was tension? Um, in the in the bridge simulator, uh, the uh, compression was red, okay. and the tension was blue. Tension was blue. So, all right, yeah. And from that, we can see where the compression, where the tensions were uh, inside the bridge. Yeah. All right, excellent work, boys. Very good. Um, hope you guys learned about engineering design. We're going to finish with the lesson now and move to our next lesson, inshallah. Yeah.